This video on the life of Archbishop Lefebvre follows part one. We're going here to uncover the last part of his life during and after Vatican II. During a time of great confusion within the Catholic Church, Archbishop Lefebvre showed his profound attachment to the Latin Tridentine Mass and his deep adhesion to tradition. After a life of exemplary service in the church, the archbishop still had his greatest work ahead of him. His generous spirit and clear-sighted vision are still the beating heart of the society of St. Pius X today. In 1962, Archbishop Lefebvre was at the height of his career. Vatican II, however, would prove for him a bitter disappointment. All of the texts he helped prepare during three years for the council were without vote, rejected outright, and new, more liberal and modern versions were imposed in their place. In response, the archbishop, along with other prelates, formed a conservative group called the Cetus Internationalis Patrum, in which he served as chairman. This group primarily opposed the introduction of modernist tendencies into the council texts by proposing amendments. The Cetus was ultimately unsuccessful in countering these modernist reforms, and Archbishop Lefebvre left the council anxious. Additionally, the Holy Ghost Fathers chafing under the Archbishop's conservative leadership and requesting a change of the constitutions left him no other choice than to resign as their superior general at the general chapter of 1968. Marcel Lefebvre was now 63 years old and after a lifetime of service to the church, planned to retire. Here the archbishop's life dovetails with that of the Society of St. Pius X. Following the repeated requests of several young men seeking a traditional priestly formation, Archbishop Lefebvre opened a new seminary in Econ, Switzerland. The local ordinary, Bishop Francois Charrière, gave his blessing for this work, and on November 1, 1970, the Priestly Society of St. Pius X was born. Archbishop Lefebvre, after guiding the Society of St. Pius X, traveling and encouraging the keeping of tradition all over the world, for over 20 years, died on March 25th, 1991. He is buried in a crypt beneath his beloved seminary at Econ, where his remains can be visited today. On his tomb are marked the words of the Apostle St. Paul, Tradiri quod et acepi, I have transmitted what I have received. For further understanding and insight on this question, we recommend watching the DVD Archbishop Lefebvre, a documentary, which can be found at angelispress.org. Another great source we recommend is to read Marcel Lefebvre, The Biography, or The Little Story of My Long Life, and Apologia Pro Marcel Lefebvre by Michael Davies, also available at angelispress.org. To learn more, go to sspx.org and subscribe to our email list. <music>